What is going on YouTube? We are back at it again today with another video. We are doing the two best blenders on the market right now. We are checking out the Blendtec 650S versus the Vitamix A3500. This is the gold label model. We're trying to see which one's better and I'm sure you guys are too. That's why you're checking out this video. Stay tuned. Okay, let's start with a close-up view of the Blendtec 650S. This is one of the newest models that they sell. Um, so this is what the body looks like on the front here. On the side. Not too much going on around the back. So there we go there. And also on the bottom is where the vent is. So this is where it will suck up the air and it will blow the air out here on the bottom of the device. Let's take a look at the container. Very nice container, it's lightweight. We're gonna compare it to the Vitamix. But we're just gonna take a quick look at it. This is the lid. This piece is removable. So you can add your ingredients in there. Let's take a look at that blade. It's a very thick blade. It's not sharp at all. You guys can see that that well, but a very nice thick blade, two piece. I like this jar. It is uh, it's very lightweight, and it's very it feels very well in the hand. So I'll say that about that. All right, let's take a close look at the touch screen here. Again, this is this is all the touch screen, so it's no hard buttons or anything. It's like your cell phone. Um, you get six different options. You get like a batter, a margarita, a smoothie, ice cream. This looks like a chop and a soup option. Also, you got your cancel button. Have a touch control here, so you can control how fast or slow you want it to go. And a pulse button, and it automatically turns off when not in use. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Vitamix. Cancel. Okay, let's take a closer look at the Vitamix A3500. All right, so this is the front of the device here. This is the side of the device. It has an exit port for the air to come out. This is the back, very nice design. Looks very nice all around. Air will come in through this port here. Here's another exit port and an on off switch. Let's take a closer look at the screen here. This is the touch screen, just like your phone. There's no hard buttons on here or anything. You have five options instead of six, like the Blendtec. Uh, it gives you a smoothie, ice cream, soup, spread and a self-clean option. You have a play pause button here on the right and a pulse button on the left here. You also have the ability to set a timer like the microwave, like your own microwave at home. So if you want it up to about two minutes, you can quickly get there and set it where you want it to go and the blender will automatically stop. All right, let's take a closer look at the, the jar here. This jar is a little bit more heavier than the, the Blendtec. All right. What it looks like here the gear at the bottom is very nice it's thicker it's definitely a beefy type of blade um, gear All right. the lid locks on very well and it also has a nice seal so your food and, and soups won't come out on the side let's take a close look at the blade instead of two blades you get four on this one and they aren't sharp at all. That's how thick they are. I don't know if you guys can see that either. All right, so that's that. We're gonna take a closer look at both of them. We're gonna compare the jars together right now and see which one's a little better. All right, so here's a closer look at the jars of the Vitamix and the Blendtec here. So let's take a close look at the lids together. This is a hard lid and it has a top that is removable where you can put your ingredients in. I like this because this also comes with a tamper where you can actually use your tamper and sit it in there. All right, the Blendtec, it's more of a rubbery lid, like a Purex type material, like a rubbery, and then it also has a nice removable piece here. 
And these are vented, so you can cook hot, hot soups in here and the blender will be able to breathe. Uh, same with the Vitamix here, it has the vent pieces here. All right, um, weight wise, this one's definitely lighter, this Blendtec. This one's heavier, the Vitamix is heavier. Uh, one thing I do like about the Blendtec is it's just nice, easy design. Um, so if you want to use like a scraper or something, it's easy to use a scraper and get these corners real easily. The Vitamix is a little bit harder because it has these ruffles in it, which helps it blend up ingredients better, they say. So we'll check that out. We're going to do a lot of tests, so trust me. Um, all right, so that's them. Let me see the bottom real quick so you guys can see the gears on them. Okay, so you could see the difference on them. All right. So, we are getting down with the test. We are going to see which one is the best here. We have two apples, very nice fresh apples, okay? Both of these blenders have 24 ounces of water in it, and we're gonna just drop these apples in it and see which one blends it up better. At the end of the test, we're gonna strain it out and see what's left. So, let's dump them in. I hope that's enough water. It looks like it. 24 ounces on both. With the same apple on both. We're going to strain it the same way. So when you put the blend tech on, you want to make sure you lock it all the way in. We'll come up and check this out real close here. When you lock it in place, this will click a little bit. Because it has a little lip around the edge here. And it also has to lip around the uh, the lid, a rubbery type. So it, it stays in there. It's pretty secure. I feel comfortable. I could literally take this and hold this right here with my finger without fear of it dropping or breaking. So you can see how well that's sticking on there and I'm shaking it a little bit and it's not falling. So we'll do that. We'll put this back on. Vitamix, there's no question about it. This one's literally locked and loaded. There's no way this is going to come off locks on very good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them both through a smoothie test we're gonna see how long they last each one has a different time so we'll do that here and then we're gonna hit smoothie here and here ready go Tech, but as you can see, we can see a lot of particles in there still. It took it a while to catch on. Okay. Fortunately, that's not a little fair, I guess. I don't know why it took it so long to catch on. We got more tests to come so we're gonna see that one did take a while to catch on so that's how much you have from the blend tech not too bad i mean it's still a good amount all right let's check out the blend tech or uh, the blend thing let's see what the vitamix did here Oh, 
obviously we won't cut plastic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, every time I do this test, it's pretty much the same. Sometimes it's a little bit less, but it always gets it pretty well. So, we're gonna check out the next test to see which one can do it better. Maybe that one wasn't fair. So we got three tests. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the next test here. This is the clean test after we just did the apple test. Uh, this is what the lid looks like on the blend tech. After that test, the apple test here. A little bit of food in there, but still, we'll see how it cleans. It calls for about one cup of water, I put a little bit more. That's what it says in the instructions. Vitamix instructions says to fill it about halfway with some soap. Here's what the lid looks like on the Vitamix. It's not too hard of a job, let's see. So, the Vitamix has the self-clean button, which is nice and easy. The Blendtec here does not, so I'm just gonna run it Pretty much on the same, whatever this one does, I'm gonna do playing with this here. So let's let's do for for 35 seconds. Let's go. One thing I will say about this jar is I like how I'm able to pour on it. It's a very easy pour. So I can pour it that way, I can pour it that way, and I can pour it that way. Very, very easily. the blend tech. Ready to go again. Let's check out the Vitamix. It's for the Vitamix you only have one way to pour, which is this way here. We'll look at that design they did. So you see that pour, it comes in one piece. Very nice for smoothies. Alright, came out very clean here as well. Let's just out. top piece here it's nice but it only goes in one way so it won't go in until it sits the correct way and then it'll lock it and it also doubles as a nice measuring cup so if you want to measure something it has a spout on it on both ends you can pour it easily both ways though so that's that and let's fix this the apple stuck in here Let's check out the next test here. We're gonna do a kale test. I have some kale here. It's about the same amount on each one. It's probably a lot, probably not, but we'll see what fits in there. We'll make it even as possible. So I'm just gonna take this. Just stuff it right in. And I'll add some water.
nice easy wipe down on them because they're touch screens so you don't have to worry about too much crevices this one's a little bit easier this one got the nice <laughs> looking pretty good it's nice and warm it was cooking for two minutes it's actually really warm let's see how hot this is real quick oh steaming in two minutes we're at about 115 degrees right there yep about 115 on the blend set let's get a temp on the vitamix before it cools down see because that was same exact time. See if this one's steaming here. Yes, it is. Looks like in there. Maybe I should have ran it at a level one. Let me get a base. So that one was at 115. And this one is at 112, 113. So about the same. Go ahead and strain them out and see which one is a little bit better here. We're gonna start with the blend tech. Again, like I said, I like this jar because you can pour it from any angle. It's a very nice pour. That one, or even this one here. So let's see, because they have the same amount of kale in it. We'll just see how thick the pieces are really. Actually, one second. Let me get grab a plate real quick. Let's put that, some of this right on here. Okay, and then we're gonna compare the blunt uh, the vitamins to that. Rinse this out. It's a lot. Seems like it's a lot less. So yeah, definitely have a lot less. Let's get a close look at that. It's hard to see, maybe she gets a better light. Okay. Feel it. Mm, it's about the same. It's about the same. And about the same amount of time, the same amount of heat. So, all right. We're going to go into one last final test here. We're gonna do one last clean, and then we're going to do one last final test. So, uh, rinse it out real quick. Okay, 
So real quick, self clean. You can see the blend tech here still has some stuff. Put some more on the outside actually from the pour. So they both are pretty much clean, easy clean. They both have a hole right here. The only thing I don't like about the blend text one is when you do get some water coming out either through the seal or just washing it, when it drips, it drips right on the touch screen. And I don't know if it's going right in the crack or the crevice of that to ruin the touch screen. Whereas the Vitamix, when that happens on the handle here, it actually goes around the edge for the most part. And there's not too much to worry about there, such as the touch screen. So, you guys ought to choose which one you want from that. That's all I'm going to say. All right, here's the lid. Something. good smells good doesn't smell like kale anymore a little bit it's on the outside here Some stuff around the right hand to see. It smells good. ready to go all right we're gonna do one last test this is gonna be a soup test and a motor test so we're gonna test how strong the motors are um, we're gonna do some pretty thick food for my special needs daughter uh, we're gonna see which one will either burn out quicker which one will do it better which one will make it hotter so let's check it out One bowl of food, same amount and same amount on each one. And that's what the texture looks like. These are grits. It's a pretty hard texture to get rid of if you don't have a good blender. These pieces are so small. Put one in there. And then put one in here. It's definitely easier to pour stuff in there. It's bigger. I'm gonna have to throw some water in there for a minute. So, let's see. I wanna make sure they both have the same temperature type of water here. So we're gonna start it on a soup option and we'll be back when it gets close to being done. Two minutes. Three minutes.
done. Uh, the Vitamix took five minutes, 45 seconds, but I cut it a little bit short because it was already done and it was captivating. Uh, the Blendtec took the whole three minutes, 180 seconds to do it, um, plus a little bit more time. So I gave it an extra like 30 seconds. Uh, when I run on the soup speed, I noticed that it doesn't run as fast as it does on the, the max speed. So the soup isn't gonna push as hard as you put it on max speed for that. The Vitamix was all the way on level 10, uh, so it was full, full speed. So let's take a close look at them. They both are very, very thick, and they both are steaming hot. Let's get a temperature on both. We got about 130. Yep, about 130 on that one, 20, 128. Try to make steam into. About 124. So we're very close with the uh, with the temperature there. Let's go ahead and check out and see what it looks like. Here's the blend set. Consistency. A bit more. It's very thick stuff. Huh? And I got about two and a half cups of that. This is the Vitamix. Okay, so let me feel it because they look the same. My, where my finger? I feel bumps in this one. Still, let me see this one. Okay. So you know what? They are literally the same. They are literally the same. So really guys, it's up to you, whatever you want. It comes down to design. It comes down, I guess, to the blades. With the Vitamix, you do get the tamper. So if you want to make ice creams and stuff, you do have the capability of being able to do that, but you don't really have to do, can't do that in the Blendtec because you need um, you need some liquid to it in order for it to move. But they both got it the same. They both are, they both are the same, like, very, very thick. And that's what she likes to eat. Literally the same thickness, very, very hot. So I, I can't tell you which one is better. It looks like you guys, you guys stay to the end of the video, you're able to watch. They both are the same. So it boils down to what design you like, how much you want to spend, and what you want to do. The Blendtec does have a three horsepower motor. The Vitamix has a 2.2 .2 horsepower motor. The Blendtec spins, blade spins a little bit faster. I believe it's uh, 30,000 RPM. The Vitamix does it at 28,000 RPM. So every minute, the blade spins around either 30,000 times or 28,000 times in order to heat your food with friction. So again, it has no heat elements on any of them. It's just plastic down here, which makes it an easy wipe up. So if you just wanted to just clean this up real quick, it's just that simple. Where like the Vitamix is a little bit more complicated because it's rubber and it's bigger base. So you gotta get in between these uh, crevices here, get around there. And if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can even just take this piece off here and just wash this piece. So, honestly, they're the same blender that comes down to design, how it looks, jar. If you know you probably have big wrists, you might want something like, not big wrists, bad wrists, you might want something like this. You know, if you're a little older, Vitamix is great. Blendtec is good. Only thing I can say about Blendtec, <coughs> is I just received this one in and I'm having a lot of no a lot of noise issues here so um makes like, it's kind of like a grinding noise like it's gravelly I don't know but um when I turn it on I can show you guys that real quick after I clean them out um they both do the same job so it's up to you guys what you want to do